currently eating kimbap in the parking lot in front of Woody Mart. Mm. So good. Like, I was craving kimbap for so many days now, and I looked everywhere to see where I could find it near me, and I found it. So, clink. I know I've been super MIA. I do apologize for that. It's just been so crazy these last few years of my life, like, just kind of trying to, like, shift gears and recalibrate what I'm doing. Um, so, obviously, I got a car. A lot of you probably know that I got my license a while back. My lovely Fiat 500 that I love so much. I did so much fun stuff yesterday and didn't vlog, so that was probably really stupid. I can do a haul of the stuff I bought yesterday so you won't miss out on too much. Yeah, I'm gonna head home to put my groceries away and then we'll see. I'm not really sure yet. It's kind of a nice day, it's kind of cold out. Um, tomorrow I'm going to a botanical garden near me, which is gonna be really fun. You like my nails? I also got them done yesterday. LOL, sorry. Should have vlogged that. I am home. I've been home this entire time. Didn't end up doing anything special. I'm feeling pretty tired today, so I just like didn't have the energy. And plus I need to wash my hair, which is gonna be a huge feat. So yeah. I'm gonna make dinner. I think I'm going to make a oven roasted mackerel, Spanish mackerel. Some baby bok choy. Um, I also bought some like little side dishes at the Korean supermarket. I'm gonna prepare that right now because I'm getting hungry and it's, the um, fish could take like an hour. But yeah, okay, let's do it. recently found out that we have lavender in my yard and it's dry so apparently like you're supposed to pick it now if you want to use it or just have it like smell good in your house 
There's this cat that I always feed in the neighborhood. He like doesn't want to be in my house. Like I've tried to like help him and like see if he wanted to stay overnight on a really snowy day and he just doesn't like doors being closed. And actually we saved him from a barn not too recently because he got locked in my neighbor's barn. My parents heard him meowing for a few days straight and asked him if they could go check and he was in there and he was like really hungry. He obviously has some trauma about that, but that's fine. He's just like my friend. He comes to hang out with me every day. It's cute, you know, I feed him some. I'll show you what I feed him. I really like dole out like all the good stuff. I don't know if this is actually good, but it's um, wet food. He seems to really, really love wet food. I don't know why. He likes dry food too. But the wet food, literally no comparison. And I also put out food for like chipmunks and stuff. I just like looking at animals <laughs> from my window. So this is a lavender. I hope there's no bugs in it. I honestly have no idea what the right way of doing this is, but the way I've been doing Sometimes I wait for the cat for hours and hours and he just stood with them. So I've just been like pulling it the opposite way that it wants to go and it all come, kind of comes off. Okay, so I literally, I literally immediately gave up. Yeah, immediately. So. These are so good, by the way. They're raspberries with white chocolate, one layer of that, and then dark chocolate on the outside. Like, perfection. Mm. Mm. I think I'm gonna make tea. <laughs> I mean, I'm still waiting for him. <laughs> it's actually pretty early. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is it so dark out? That's crazy. It's like the forbidden one. He really goes crazy for that. Yeah, don't you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, love that. So, just made rice and it looks pretty good. I bought this kit for making rice balls today. You basically fill it up halfway, put the filling, fill up the other side, and then you take it out of the mold and put the seaweed. So I'm really excited because I love this so much. It's one of the things I really miss from living in Korea. Like you could just go to 7-Eleven and buy one of these at any time. So, yeah. Oh my God, guys, this is so cute. Look, so this is the little thing. Here are the instructions. It's in English as well, for those of you that wanna buy this and can't speak Korean. And then it has all these like um, encouraging phrases. You're the best, handsome. This is like pat pat. I don't know, just cheering words really cute and then you can write your own and then it has the actual paper with like the 
places where you're supposed to tear away. So I'm gonna try to make some while my rice is still hot. It's literally been sitting for 10 minutes exactly. So it's the perfect time. I'm gonna try to make tuna mayo and I have masago or tobiko. Um, and I'm gonna try to do something with salmon. Let's see how I do this. Oh my God, guys, this is so cute. Look, so this is the little thing. Here are the instructions. It's in English as well, for those of you that wanna buy this and can't speak Korean. And then it has all these like um, encouraging phrases. You're the best, really cute. And then you can write your own. And then it has the actual paper with like the places where you're supposed to tear away. So I'm gonna try to make some while my rice is still hot. It's literally been sitting for 10 minutes exactly. So it's the perfect time. I'm gonna try to make tuna mayo and I have masago or tobiko. Um, and I'm gonna try to do something with salmon. Let's see how I do this. This is so cute. So I put the rice and then I put the filling, which was just salmon and um, mayo and a little bit of seasoning. And then you put more rice on top. I put sesame seeds on this one. On the other one, I put masago. I put masago and sriracha in this one. I'm trying to experiment with a lot of flavors, but I gotta say, this is already so easy. This is the part I don't know if I'm doing right. I think you're supposed to do this. Yeah. And then this. And then you're supposed to put a sticker on it. This one. It's breaking though. It says to put it like high up, so I'm gonna put it high up. And there it is. And it has like the instructions to pull and the little tabs. Ah, I love it. I'm gonna make a few more. So I'm making a lychee martini. <laughs> Vermouth, vodka, glass, lychees in syrup. I need toothpicks too, hang on. drink. Cool. Measure. Whew. Pretty strong. That's how I make my lychee martini, clink. <sighs> so I'm up. I canceled my plans for today, bought a ticket to see Batman, and that's what I'm gonna do because my period pains right now are literally kicking me in the ass. So I'm gonna have like a relaxing day instead. Let me show you my rice balls. So, to be honest, I forget what I put in each one. But here they are. I think I'm going to eat, or was it this one? So, let's try it. I also bought these, which are fried tofu. Um, filled with rice and it's so good. This is like the combo I would have for breakfast every morning in Seoul. Bon appetit! Oh! 
definitely could have filled it more. But it's really good. Could put more filling. So that took me a whole hour and I ran out of curlers so I had to use these other kinds that I have. I feel like it's just not going to turn out well. I have naturally curly hair and every tutorial I've seen of a girl doing this, they have like pin straight hair. I don't know if they're straightening it beforehand. So that's what I tried to do today because most tutorials tell you to curl it and then put it in the curler. But if I do that, I have all this like crazy frizz and texture, especially at like the crown of the head, um, that's not like getting straightened. So today I used a straightener and then I put it into the curler while it was still hot. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to come out just because like these aren't voluminous curlers. Um, but I figured it would be fine as long as these are super vol voluminous. And obviously, like, I have so much hair sticking out. And the back looks crazy! Um, I'm gonna leave it on for as long as I can handle. This is starting to get really irritating. Um, but yeah, I just, like, can't get this hairstyle right. And I really want to. Um, so I guess practice makes perfect. I just have so, so much hair. So it makes it really hard. But yeah, I'll show you when I take it out. That That looks absolutely terrible. Okay, so I cut myself because my license plate finally came and I had to install it. By the way, my hair came out like terrible. Like I can't even, I can't believe I spent so much time on that for it to come out like shite. I'm honestly so annoyed. And now I'm like disheveled. I had to get ready in like five minutes to make my movie. Um, so I'm gonna go. Now, the theater I'm going to um, is historical. It's been open since like 1920, I believe. So cute, yeah. Let's go. In 800 feet, turn left on Wigan Street. Uh, Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? Good, thank you. Um, can I get one small popcorn and a cherry Coke, please? Thank you.
got a cherry coke and a small buttered popcorn. Cherry coke is the best movie theater drink. <sighs> so I'm finally home. The movie was so much longer than I thought. It was almost three hours. I think it's just like a couple minutes under, which is really long. <laughs> By the time I got out of the theater, it was already almost night. And I don't normally drive at night very much just because I'm a new driver and I'm a little hesitant, but it was fine. Um, I made myself a little lychee martini just with the leftovers from yesterday. And I have to come up with a concept for um, a sponsorship post. So I'm gonna be doing that, just working a little bit. And then, do you wanna see how much laundry I have to fold? Da -da -da -da! That's literally, uh, it's literally the size of me. So, yeah, I have to go do that and it's probably going to be very, very boring, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it wasn't like the most exciting thing in the whole universe, but now that I have a car, I'll be able to do a lot more and I wanna bring you guys along. Let me know what you guys would like to see, if there's anything in particular or any even like ASMR, if you guys wanna see that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I miss you guys the most. And thanks for hanging out with me.